Welcome to 26 Black Knight Film Festival and you're with the Puff TV Meet the Filmmakers segment. Uh, we are discussing a very uh, strong rebellious film today uh, from the Rebel with the Cause section and the title of the film is How Dare You Have Such a Rubbish Wish and uh, it's by the director and a writer Mania Akbari and this is a United Kingdom and Iranian co-production. So before we get into the film, Mania, uh, welcome uh, to Puff, and uh, Mania has a message for you. Uh, thank you very much. I'm so happy that I'm here. I have a very short message uh, from uh, my friends uh, to read here. Thank you so much. Uh, feminist journalist Neil Farhamedi and Elohim Mohammadi are in danger of harsh prisoner sentences. Neil Farhamedi is the reporter who visited Masa Gina Amini by her hospital bed and Castro Hospital. She posted a photo of Gina's relative in a tube and wrote, there was nothing we could do, but black has been and is our flock. Elohim Muhammadi is a journalist who went to Sagas Kurdistan after Gina's death. Staying through to ethnographic journalism, she reported on the burial ceremony and the bereaved family's speeches. As Iranian feminist, we call on feminists human rights activists, gender activists, and journalists from around the world to, to join in the declining their solid solidarity and support for all capital prisoners, also Neil Farhamedi and Elohim Mohammadi. We ask for your support to use all your international capacities to pressure it, the Islamic Republic to end its violent suppressions of Iranian people and free all political prisoners. Resistance to patriarchal, capital, oppressive governments can only be achieved through international and cross-border solidarity. I would like to dedicate my films to Elohim Mohammadi and Nilufar Hamedi, also political prisoners in Iran. Zan Zendegi Azadi, Jen Jian Azadi, Woman Life Freedom. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for uh, being with us and thank you for coming for POF and bringing your amazing film uh, to POF this year. So, uh, Mania, let's like, you know, let's try to break the ice with uh, the process of your film. Uh, you you have uh, opened our uh, eyes uh, to an un, like a un, new knowledge of Iranian cinema where which is like uh, uh, pre uh, Islamic revolution time and you're using uh, like women like liberated women independent women but at the same time like playful lustful and with a very strong male gaze like w what was your process that you use yourself and then you juxtapose uh, these clips in the film so why you wanted to make this film thank you very much for your points and that uh, um around uh, two years i researched about the uh, patriarchy society and male gaze through the moving images and iranian cinema uh, and uh, i started before revolution uh, and the title of the film is the film farsi that yeah. hard day mm, uh, just uh, how they made the characters of the women through the cinema and the story and the moving image in that time. And I started and I found that it was r really hard and harsh and violent and also it was male gaze to true to women body and to true the women's character during the uh, cinema and I'll, I don't believe that it was just in the cinema. I think it was a, coming from the yeah. reality to cinema and cinema mm -hmm. to reality. Yeah. It was a dialogue between mm -hmm. the society and the cinema. That was very hard and I started writing and uh, the same time I watched around 200 films and mm -hmm. we decided to um, just like a collage, make a collage between the dialogue and narrative and uh, the images. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, and, and then, like, you know, uh, I mean, you've been experimenting this for, like, decades with, with your films, like, you know, four plus, uh, 10 plus 4 and also, like, uh, 20 Fingers. Like, you know, th there is there is a strong statement that you make 
throughout the film very focused when, with with one line but like uh, tell me like you know when you're using your body as a narrative uh, in the film and also like you know you use your scars as an art uh, on your body so how how do you like you know use this like you know like against the strongly objectified like censored cinema like iran like you juxtapose it against that so yeah. what is your take in uh, this that's very interesting thank you uh, that's mm, mm, honestly my body is my canvas my body is my okay. pen my was yep. my body is my camera my body that i have a dialogue between my body and my past and my memory i have a dialogue between my body and the religious i had a dialogue between my body and my society and uh, that's very important for me that I'm talking the whole my life after for, after I had cancer and um, I had a big question uh, what is the body I'm not my body but I'm in my body and it was very important for me to have to find a human body uh, and also thinking about the body politic and politics of body and uh, that's related to the to, to life and to the society but it's very interesting that, that all my life as a woman uh, Iranian women in uh, Islamic Republic society countries that none of them I thought about the gender identity and uh, just relate relationship between body and religious body and society body and uh, patriarchy society yeah. and body and border and that I tried to the follow the camera camera non-stop follow my body and mm -hmm. it was like a dialogue between uh, sometimes I was viewer and sometimes I was a perf I performed front of the camera and sometimes I was behind the camera that was a do very yeah. important dialogue for me yeah, yeah. And, and and also like uh, uh, what, what's what's your uh, take on like when, when you say like cinema is very male dominant uh, uh, field right and also like art throughout the history has been like dominated by uh, male and but like you mentioned also in few times like you know, women has to work harder uh, to get into uh, and to be like you know success and create a statement and you are in that journey so like what what do you have what is the message you have for all the women artists around like who are expressing themselves um, i think we have to reread our our history we mm -hmm. have to reread our past we have to reread our society and we have to build um, our society again and again can you can see that is a this a women life freedom is not upcoming now exactly it mm -hmm. has a huge history yeah. as a past has a you know memory the feminist activists journalists reporters in Iran female women and they worked really hard before Iranian revolution not exactly now mm -hmm. that you can see the result this yeah. sorry this yeah. revolution is a result of the hard work you know and fighting and just uh, connection to um, yeah connection to your past yeah. and you want to find uh, just uh, you are you are working hard uh, um, for f your future. Mm -hmm. yeah. You want to yeah. change. You want a revolution. Yeah. Uh, let's let's move on to the film also. Like you know, when when I was watching the film, uh, like you you metaphorically you bring this uh, uh, octopus in the film, and then like uh, I I could like you know connect the dots like you know uh, where that. There is uh, black ink, uh, which is the, the, the melanin and the mucus of, of the octopus. And then you go into this black and white cinema and then you use your body where that you ink your body. So like, did you, when, when, when you're structuring your film, did you have this kind of a concept like where that, you know, the ink of octopus, which is black, and then it comes to your body and you create an art uh, on, on your body through that? Uh, it's a very interesting question. That's uh, that's with, that's I tried to that that part was video art and I made mm -hmm. uh, eleven years ago. Okay, it okay. wasn't part of the film. Right. And I made that from that um, film eleven years ago when I met my partner. That he's a British sculptor artist and he worked with octopus. Exactly, he made a print of octopus on the paper with the ink of the octopus. And then I decided to have a this conversation and dialogue between my body and uh, him animals body between the animal and human body and conversation and have a uh, just understanding and then um, 
I had uh, these images go through the bath with the ink of the octopus. Yeah. And then I never use it. And I put in the, my hard drive. I had lots of video arts, moving images that I never used. And then when I started to uh, look at the images of black and white of Iranian cinema before revolution, and it's coming up something that, and I thought, wow, gosh, I have to use these images because it's exactly the black and white. And I, I wanted to talk, touch, deep touch my body and have a conversation, start with this conversation uh, between my body and dialogue with the, my past and my memory. Because that the film that I made, the collage, is not just female body, it's my mom's body, it's my grandmom's body, it's my body. None of I'm talking with my body. And then I really want to find this dialogue and conversation between uh, moving images and a little bit abstract and reality and then have a conversation with them. And also it was a little bit hard for me uh, when I touched the octopus in the ink, that the ink was in octopus ink. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to start to touch my language and my my dialogue and my body before revolution when I didn't born yet, when I wasn't in, my, in, in Iran. And then, yeah, that was very, touched me and I thought I have to start with this yeah. because I met 11 years ago mm -hmm. and and then I used ending of the film too yes that is a dialogue between I think uh, all the film was in the bath all mm -hmm. the collage was black and white in the yeah. bath and I think everything was dialogue between the octopus and my body yeah. and that you can see is a journey and it's starting the beginning of the journey with octopus and my body and then the ending is coming with octopus and my body too that's a that means for me at, i was in the bath and i had a dream and i had a conversation and i reread my history and my past uh, in the bath through the ink of the octopus mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and uh, well, like uh, time is up now uh, for the interview. But like uh, before we winding up, uh, like after the murder of uh, Masha Amini, like you like there is an uprising of uh, women movement and like you know people like women are on the street and fighting. And as you said earlier, you are dedicating this your films and your this film especially uh, for them. And do you have any any final line uh, for them a message? The most important final line, honestly, for every woman now at the moment is Zen Jian Azadi, Zen Zendegi Azadi, woman life freedom. Okay, yeah. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Mania, and like it. Thank you so much for bringing this film, and thank you so much for speaking out for people and thank power you. to the people. Thank, thank you so you much, much for being with us. Thank you. And that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Danushka from Puff TV.